Hey, what's up, everyone? Today I'm just kind of going through and making a sound pack, putting together some recordings that I took from things around the house. You know, just looking for like little uh, textural tidbits and whatnot, I guess. So, yeah, this is kind of like my process of how I do it. I'm just going to give you a little demo here. So. You know, I've got a sound here. This is bowl fills and treat time. So, you know, filling food bowls for my dogs. So I'm grabbing little samples from that and kind of cutting them up, putting them in different size groups here. So what I do here is this one that I have here. I already made my fades on it. You know, this is kind of where I want it. Drag that back a little bit just to... So it's going to fall within the uh, half bar or quarter bar, sorry. So that's where that one's going to go. So what I do here is drag this down to the empty channel here. And then I just drag this empty channel down right into here. Now, the reason I have these all grouped out like this is because when you're doing uh, samples, you're going to want to normalize them all, right? So this is probably the fastest way that I've figured out how to normalize them. I'm still trying to hone in on the naming process of them without having to resort to AIs or scripts, right? But what we have here is in all these groups broken down into the sizes that they're going to be. Now what I would do here is what I do is come in here and I highlight the whole section and I just hit control J and now all of these are essentially normalized. We can see with the decibel readings being set according to where their, or that the, I should say the mirror of where their peak is. So if we select all of these and then just double click on that, now all these samples are normalized and they're all 16th note samples, right? I just go into the next one you know, grabbing all these. Sorry, I don't know why I clicked on that. And then same thing, because I already put my fades on these too, by the way. So by doing that, it locks in all my fades as well. So again, with Control J, I think Command J on Mac. And now all these are normalized. So again, what I do is click on, double click on one of them so it brings it up and then highlight all of them and come in here and just double click that little star and now all your clips are normalized right as far as the names I mean there's a bunch of stuff out there uh, I mean you could just go through manually and rename them all but there's like you know I know like github and stuff like that has uh, a bunch of things you can get to rename your um, rename your clips without actually having to manually go through and do that all right cool so hey i hope this uh helps out um thanks for watching that's it